Now, when you hear the shot, I don't want you coming in. First of all, you won't be able to get in by yourself, but I don't want you trying. Call Dawson, then call the police, and then call Agnes, and then you'll need something to do until somebody gets here, so wash the hot chocolate pan. You wash that pan until you hear the doorbell ring, and I don't care if it's an hour. You keep washing that pan. I'll make my calls, and then I'll just sit. I won't need something to do. What will the police say? They'll do that gunpowder test and ask you what happened, and by that time the ambulance will be here. And they'll come to get me, and you know how that goes. Stay out here with Dawson and Loretta. You keep Dawson out here. I want the police in the room first, not Dawson, okay? What if Dawson and Loretta want me to go home with them? That's up to you. I think I'll stay here. All I've got is Santa. Maybe Agnes can come stay with you for a few days. I'd rather be by myself, I think. to have my little calculator. Dawson bought it for himself, you know, but pity someone he likes better, and he couldn't bring both of them home with Loretta counting every penny the way she does, so he gave the first one to me. It'd be funny for her to have it now, don't you think? And all of my house slippers are in a sack for her in my closet. Tell her I've never worn any of them, and I know they'll fit. And make sure Dawson hears you tell her that. I'm glad he loves Loretta so much, but I wish he knew that not everyone has her sight see. Okay. No, this letter's for Dawson, but it's mostly about you, so read it if you want. There's a list of presents in there for at least 20 more Christmases and birthdays, so if you want anything special, you better add it to the list before you give it to him. Or if you want to be surprised, just don't read that page. This Christmas, you're getting mostly stuff for the house, like a new rug in your bathroom and some needlework, but next Christmas, you're really gonna cost him next Christmas. I think you'll like it a lot and you never think of it. And you think he'll go for it? I think he'll feel like a real jerk if he doesn't. Me telling him to like this and all. Now, this number's where you call Cecil. I called it last week and he answered, so I know he still lives there. What do you want me to tell him? Tell him we talked about him and I only have good things to say about him, but Mainly tell him to find Ricky and to tell him what I did and to tell him that you have something for him out here from me and to come get it. What is it? My watch. He'll sell it. That's the idea. I appreciate him not stealing it already. I'd like to buy him a good meal. He'll buy dope with it. Well, then I hope he gets some good dope with it, Mama. And the rest of this is for you. I guess. I tried to be quiet about it. Those are just presents, or whatever you need one. They're not bought presents, just things I thought you might like to look at. Pictures, things you think you've lost, things you didn't know you had even. You'll see. I'm not sure I want them. Don't make me think of you. No, they won't. They're just things, like a free tube of toothpaste I found hanging in the door one day. Oh. Well, maybe there's one nice gift in there. It's Granny's ring she gave me, and I thought you might to have it, but I didn't think you'd wear it if I gave it to you right now. No, probably not. You ready for my manicure, I guess? Want me to wash my hands again? It's time for me to go, Mama. No, Jesse, you've got all night. Go, Mama. It's not even 10 o'clock. Let me go, Mama. I can't. You can't go. You can't do this. You didn't say it would be so soon, Jesse. I'm scared. I love you. Let go of me, Mama. I said everything I had to say. You said you wanted to do my nails. I can't. It's too late. It's not too late. I don't want you to wake Doc and Loretta when you call. I want them to still be up and dressed so they can get right over. They wake up fast, Jesse, if they have to. They don't matter here, Jesse. You do. I do. We're not through yet. We got a lot of things to take care of here. You didn't tell me where my prescriptions are, or what to tell Dr. Davis when he calls, or how much you want me to tell Ricky, or who I call Ricky Lee. Don't or... try and stop me, Mama. You can't do I it. I can't, too. And I'll stand in front of this hall and you can't get past me. That's did not see how to get away from me, Jesse. I'm not about to let you. Night, Mother. No.
you were fine. <laughs>